Northerners and many of the politicians are panicking at the moment. One of them is the chairman of the caretaker committee of the All Progressive Congress, Governor Mai Mala Buni of Yobe State. He has decided to warn or advise or suggest to Major General Mamadou Buhari, retire the president of Nigeria, to be careful over the ongoing nationwide protest in the country. The governor said there might be hidden agenda behind a lingering anti special um the special anti robbery squad SAS protest across the country. Speaking in an interview with BBC Ausa Service, Buni said there was urgent need for leaders at all levels to come together to bring an end to the protest before it gets out of hand. He has not really said how they are going to put an end to it. Is it with violence? He said, looking at the protest now, it is like something bad is eating. Despite government's actions on the protesters' demands, they are still on the streets protesting. Government has to be very careful with them. What else do the protesters want? The Inspector General of Police has taken immediate action, so I think they should stop the protest and come to the table with government so there will be solutions. He said President Muhammad Buhari took over at a time the country was facing enormous challenges, stressing that Nigeria cannot be fixed in five years. Well, this this is not something that uh, anyone wants to relate with, either there is eating agenda or no eating agenda. There's no one sponsoring anyone aside some criminals among themselves, the criminals in government who are sponsoring thugs to hijack the protests, and they have failed as people are resilient they are there and they're ready to go all the way so there's no hidden agenda it's not about sas are they dumb or are they trying to act like youth are so stupid because they have stolen their past stole their present and stealing their future they think that um, because they fly abroad and you know spend nigerian money anyhow keep their kids abroad they think that's just why uh, nigerian youth are dumb or stupid or they don't see they know what they're doing don't think that the struggle has no faith means that they, they are foolish or stupid people. How dare this man talk about NSAS alone? They are trying to keep this thing on SAS and kind of remove themselves from the atrocities that they have committed. It is not just SAS. If SAS killed people, extrajudicial killing, and very terrible activities, it's the government that created it. Not just SAS. They permitted it. After all, SAS did not create itself. The government allowed SARS to be created. They acceded to it. They agreed to SARS and they saw all the atrocities of SARS because their children and they themselves are not even in any way, you know, have, they don't get clash with any of these things. They, they've not come in contact with such. They don't care. The SARS is even created to protect them, not to protect the ordinary citizens because the civilians that have been, you know, dealt with. The, the ordinary people, as they call them, inconsequential people, those are people that have been dealt with. The, it's a reality also, a fact also, that there are criminals in the society that SARS, one way or the other, they've dealt with. Let us be sincere. But majority of the actions of SARS are not professional. So it shows that there are more people who have been maimed. There are more people who have been killed by SARS rather than the people that should have been arrested for certain crimes or whatever it is. SARS is a special unit that goes after adding criminal, goes after kidnapping, goes after a lot of very, you know, terrible um, crime that needs urgent and specialized atta attention. But how then did SARS become POS collector, a uh, money receiver? How did SARS become people who drive people to the ATM machine? How did SARS turn to people who take hard drugs? How did SARS turn to all of this? How did SARS turn to people checking mobile phones? How does SAS tend to harassing people when they see you dressed clean, you have a smartphone, you're in a car? I understand that sometimes you just look at people, you profile them, which is not right. And you stop them like, look at this young guy. How did you get this? Can you show us where you work? There are times that you come across armed robbers this way who move around the society with very expensive. Imagine a young boy or young man of 22. I'm not saying the age is the point. Even a man of 50 can do the same. Of 22. He's driving a Range Rover, not from gifts from his parents, but himself. Now, there's no problem. You want to stop like, hi, yes, who are you? What do you do? Because it could be an armed robber. It could be a kidnapper. After doing all what they do, they come out to society and drive the cars. And hardworking people get 
very, very, very upset and, and stressed out because they are working hard and they don't understand how this young boy, 22, you know, very terrible things that we know happen in the society. We've seen cases where SARS have um, stopped um, some, you know, all this Yahoo Plus, you know, people who use sisters and other people for, for this. And we've seen where they stopped them and just by the left side of the car, under the seat of the car, uh, or they see something like some fetish things that they use in trapping young girls, ladies, or cases where we've seen um, people that they've already used for the ritual and those ones are sitting by the and they are driving the person off and the police you know these sas people stop them with the police and with this they're able to stop that crime from continuing so we cannot say 100 percent that they didn't do one or two but the thing is that they are not professional and they've done more harm and aside this people are not just upset about sas they are upset more about the government economy and everything in nigeria things are not okay people are not having it well this is not how a country is supposed to be this is a banana republic. This, this, according to Mazen Abdekani, this is a zoo where everything goes. There's no law and order. Even in the, in the zoo, you know, there is law and order. So I don't know why these people are kind of hiding and saying this. There's no hidden agenda. You lack, you, they, they, lack good, they, they lack good governance. Failure is what they are saying. That's just what it is. So it's terrible. They are not able to fix anything. And now they are there talking rubbish. There is no agenda of anything. The agenda is to make sure that they bring down corruption, bring down this, bring, bring all of you down, not just Buari, every one of you that have been part of this Nigeria, that have added failure to Nigeria, Obasan, Job, every one of them, just, you know their names, every one of them, dead or alive, their dead body should be exhumed. To come and answer, plus their children, come and answer for the crime because their children are still spending the money. Imagine a bunch of children are asking that they, they are, they should, the government Buari should return to them their father's money, their father's property, their father's this, their father that. This is a criminal. All of them should be brought down to come and tell us what they have done and to make sure that they account for all their time that is spent oppressing the people. So it's not business as usual. Anyway, so this man should get it right. They, they cannot talk of any hidden agenda here. What hidden agenda? Who is trying? What hidden agenda? Is Bwari effective there? In the Senate climb, will Bwari still be there? When he cannot perform, when he can't do what he said he's coming to do. In the Senate crime, the, the, the senators, if they are not criminals like, like, the, like criminals also there, they would have looked at the old, 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 old structure of things and look at every the result and they come up with a way to get him out. But they are all birds of the same feather, having nothing. To offer anybody. That's just what it is. It's so terrible. That's it. The chairman of the caretaker committee of the All Progressive Congress, Governor Mai Bala Muni of Yobe State, he has warned Buhari government to be careful over the ongoing nationwide protest and he claimed that there are some hidden agenda somewhere. 